BIM versus architecture, what is better? I often get this question in my DM and in the comment section. As a professional who has practiced into architecture field and is currently practicing into BIM, I think I can help you solve this doubt and help you make an informed decision about which field is good for you and which field will be better for your future. So try watching this video till the end. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would request all of you to please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Your subscription to this channel is free, but it helps me a lot and it motivates me to keep making these videos. And these videos help a lot of architecture students and young professionals making an informed decision. So please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And guys, without any delays, let's get started with the video. So guys, the BIM and architecture debate, BIM versus architecture debate is actually wrong. There can't be a BIM versus architecture because BIM itself is a process that is built to support the architectural process. BIM actually helps architects and engineers to streamline their entire process, to generate data that will help them to build a project successfully. It helps to reduce the number of errors that you have. It gives you a comprehensive analysis of your entire project. And not only this, BIM also goes into the life cycle management of the project. Basically, BIM can be a process that helps architecture process and it can also help the construction process and it can also help life cycle management process of the structure. For example, if you have completed the process using BIM, BIM can also help to manage that building. For example, you will have all the data of equipments that are there in your building. You will have the data what is there in your wall, on your wall, what are the equipments that you are using. You will know exactly where the equipments are and how and when these equipments need to be maintained. So that is what BIM is. So basically BIM versus architecture is absolutely wrong terminology. And guys, if you want to know in detail what BIM does, how BIM functions, what is there in BIM, what all things you can do into BIM. I have made an entire playlist about BIM and what are the things that you need to know to get into BIM industry. So please go ahead and check that video out as well. Now let's talk about what is better, you being into architecture industry or trying to get into BIM. So first of all, architecture is about designing, it's about documentation, it's about the project management, it's about the design execution and delivery of the project. So you can be in any part of this architecture process. You can be a designer who just designs concepts or who just plans. You can be into documentation who produces the working drawing and the final documentation for the submission of drawing. You can be into management who goes on site and sees how the project is being executed and is there any error in the project into execution or not. So these are the factors and these are the things that you do in architecture. And on the other hand, if you try to go into BIM, you can be a BIM modeler. BIM manager, BIM coordinator or a BIM lead into a company. So now let's talk about the pay scales into these two industries. So if you are into an architecture industry and if you have, for example, one or two years of experience, your pay scale will be at least 10% lesser than a professional into BIM industry. If you are a BIM modeler or if you are a BIM coordinator, you might get paid more than an architecture technologist of same level of experience. It is also because of demand and supply. A lot of people tend to go into designing sector and after completion of your architecture, of course, no one will like to go into BIM because you are not designing into BIM. So that is a factor that makes the pay scale of BIM industry a bit higher than architecture industry. So this is also a major factor that you should consider before switching into any of the industry. And now let's talk about what is better in terms of work. So both the work are good work, but it also depends on what you like. 
if you like designing if you like to be into visualization side of architecture if you want to be in the execution side of the architecture industry i would say bim is not for you because when you come into bim industry you won't be designing anything your main main focus is into software management project management project management on to cloud environment and into a software you will be deciding what level of information is there into the bim model how the bim model is how healthy your model is and how the final output or the data that is there in the bim model will be delivered so you will be moving away from the designing factor so if you are into design then bim is not for you and if you are a software geek like me i think bim will help you a lot because bim is all about softwares bim is all about management on a software bim is all about delivering a data or a set of data from a software to the hard copy or to the architecture technologist or the architecture principal i hope you are clear about the job description of bim and architecture and now let's talk about the major drawbacks of these two industry if you go into architecture the major drawback is you might not get paid as well as a bim professional you might not get that much of exposure into technology or into softwares you will end up doing designs you will be ending up doing visualization for a company and that's all or probably you will be 100% into designing now coming to bim industry so the major drawback that i feel is that you have very very less exposure into designing you have nothing to no exposure into designing i would say you will be working on softwares you will be helping out architects to solve their doubts or queries into the softwares whatever software you are using either archicad or revit so whatever software you are using you will be master of the software that is a plus point i would say but the worst point is that you will know nothing about designing you will start going far from the designing aspect of a architecture project so for me i would say that the biggest drawback because if you are an architect and watching this video i know uh, every architect around the world wants to design something and that's the core of us that we have studied for 5 years and we want to design but if you are into software or something then bim is good or else don't go into bim guys if you want to design so these are the two major drawbacks of these two industry and now the decision lies on you i think i have made it very clear like what are the plus points what are the negative points into pay scale into designing factors everything final decision is totally up to you and if you still have some kind of doubt or queries please go ahead mention it in the comment section and guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet i would request you to like this video and subscribe to my channel this helps me to keep making these videos i take out my time and i take out my time to edit these videos as well so that i can help you guys so please go ahead support this channel and take care of yourself i'll see you soon bye bye